name is Takuzo Ganre. I'm a former A-level student and I graduated high school with straight A stars and I'm here to help you do the same or if not just to make A-level maths a little less challenging for you. So in this video we'll be looking at circular measure and the syllabus points that we'll focus on are understand the definition of a radian and use the relationship between radians and degrees. Use the formula S equals R theta and A equals half R squared theta in solving problems concerning the arc length and sector area of a circle. So a radian is an angle whose corresponding arc in a circle is equal to the radius of the circle. So this is the angle, one radian, and its corresponding arc is this one, and its length is equal to that of the radius of the circle. And one radian is approximately 57.2958 degrees. So to change from radians to degrees, we use this formula. You multiply your angle in radians by 180 over pi. And to change from degrees to radians, we use this formula. You multiply your angle in degrees by pi over 180. Now the formula for arc length is S equals R theta where S represents arc length, R is radius, and theta is the angle of the sector. Then the formula for sector area of a circle is A equals half R squared theta, where A is the area of the sector, and R is the radius, theta is the angle. And note that theta in both these two equations is in radians. So if you're given your angle in degrees, first convert it to radians, and then substitute into this formula. Now let's look at some past paper questions on circular measure. Number one, a sector of a circle of radius R has an area of A centimeter squared. Express the perimeter of the sector in terms of R and A. So we have our sector here, starting from the center of the circle to this point on the circumference, then the arc is to this point and then from the circumference back to the center they want the perimeter of this region so in this case we can tell that this side has a length r this side has a length r which is the radius so that's r plus r then we also have the arc length s in this case so it's r plus s plus r and we know that the formula for arc length is S is equal to R theta. So we can substitute S with R theta and it becomes P is equal to R plus R theta plus R. And now let's group like terms. That's R plus R. It gives us 2R plus R theta. And note that they want the perimeter in terms of R and A. So that means we have to get rid of theta. To get rid of theta, we're going to use the formula for sector area of a circle and we're going to make theta the subject of the formula. And you end up with theta is 2a over r squared. And now we'll go back to our expression for perimeter and you substitute theta with 2a over r squared and you end up with p is equal to 2r plus i times 2a over r squared and you simplify and you get that the perimeter is 2r plus 2a over r and that would be your final answer. Now let's move on to question number two. The diagram shows a sector ABC so that's a b c of a circle with center a and radius r the line bd is perpendicular to ac angle CAB is theta radians. Okay, part A. Given that theta is equal to 1 over 6 pi, find the exact area of BCD in terms of R. So we know that theta is 1 over 6 pi. And we want to find the area of BCD. BCD is the segment over here. And so we can create an expression to calculate the area of BCD. So area of BCD is equal to area of sector ABC. That's this whole pie-shaped region. 
that would be ABC minus the area of our triangle ABD that's the right angle triangle and so if we use the sector area of a circle formula as well as the area of a triangle formula we substitute we end up with area of BCD is half r squared theta minus half times BD times AD and we're given that theta is 1 over 6 pi so we can already substitute theta with 1 over 6 pi and if you simplify you get 1 over 12 pi r squared theta minus half times BD times AD now to find BD and AD we can use Pythagoras if we come back to our triangle we notice that it's a right angled triangle so to find BD we can use Sokatoa and in this case we know that we have the hypotenuse which is this side as well as this angle so if we want BD BD is the opposite so it means we're using sine so it becomes sine of 1 over 6 pi is equal to opposite which is BD over the hypotenuse which is R so BD is equal to R sine 1 over 6 pi BD is equal to 1 over 2 R now let's also find AD we know that AD is the adjacent and we have the hypotenuse so that means we're using cos and it becomes cos 1 over 6 pi is equal to the adjacent being AD and our hypotenuse which is R so it becomes AD is equal to R cos 1 over 6 pi AD is equal to root 3 over 2 R. So now that we have BD and AD, we can now go back to our expression and substitute these values in. So again, we said BD is half R, AD is root 3 over 2R. And if we substitute here, we get 1 over 12 pi R squared theta minus half times half R times root 3 over 2R. And if we simplify that, you get area of BCD is 1 over 12 pi r squared theta minus root 3 over 8 r squared and so our final answer will be area of bcd is equal to 1 over 12 pi r squared theta minus root 3 over 8 r squared now let's move on to part b given instead that the length of bd is root 3 over 2 r find the exact parameter of b c d in terms of r so to get the perimeter of bcd that's length of bd plus length of cd plus arc length of bc and we know that bd is root 3 over 2r so we can substitute bd with root 3 over 2r then from our diagram we can tell that cd we can get it from ac minus ad and from part A, we already got that AD is equal to R cos theta. And we know that AC is the radius. So that means that CD is equal to AC, which is R, minus AD, which is R cos theta. And BC is the arc length, so we know that arc bc is equal to r theta and now we can go back to our expression for perimeter and substitute so we say it cd is r minus r cos theta arc bc is r theta and so now notice that they want their expression in terms of r so that means we have to find a way to get rid of theta and we can do that using Sokatoa. In our right angle triangle ABD, we are given the opposite side, which is root 3 over 2R, and we are given the hypotenuse, which is R. So we can use sine. So we can say that sine theta 
is equal to opposite which is root 3 over 2 r divided by the hypotenuse which is r so the r's will cancel out and you end up with sine theta is equal to root 3 over 2 and theta is arcsine of root 3 over 2 so theta is equal to 1 over 3 pi and we can now substitute this value of theta back into our perimeter expression so we come back to our expression here you substitute theta with 1 over 3 pi and you simplify you should end up with the perimeter is root 3 over 2 r plus half r plus 1 over 3 pi r and that would be our final answer now let's move on to question number three in the diagram cxd is a semicircle so that's from this point going right to d so cxd is a semicircle of radius seven centimeters with a center a so that's our center and then from a to c is the radius or from a to d is the radius or from a to x is the radius and that's all seven centimeters and it has a diameter of c d so from this point c to d that's the diameter of our semicircle cxd the straight line y a b x is perpendicular to c d and the arc c y d so that's this arc right here is part of a circle with a center B and a radius of eight centimeters. So that means from B to C, that's eight centimeters. From B to Y, that's eight centimeters. From B to D, that's eight centimeters. Find the total region enclosed by the two arcs. So we can create our expression to find the area of the region enclosed by the two arcs and that would be that the total area is equal to the area of our semicircle CXD, that's this area here, plus the area of segment CYD, that's this other bit. So if we get those two areas and we add them together, that will give us the total area enclosed by the two arcs. So to find the area of the semicircle CXD, we'll use the formula area of semicircle is half pi r squared. And we're given that the radius is seven. So it simplifies to give us 49 over two pi. Now we need to find the area of the segment CYD. We know that if we come back to our diagram, we know that CYD is part of the arc coming from the circle with a center b so it would form this sector going from b to c as well as from b to d so we want this is the area that we want this shaded region we can get the area of the shaded region by saying the area is equal to area of sector b c d minus the area of our triangle BCD. So minus the area of triangle BCD. Okay, so if we were to find the area of the sector, we're going to use the formula area is equal to half r squared theta. And we know that our radius is eight centimeters. So that's half times eight squared times theta. And we need to find theta so theta is this angle over here that's our angle theta and we can tell that theta is two times the angle a b c so if we can find angle a b c from this right angle triangle that we have over here we can find theta so a b c is this angle i've labeled in red that's angle a b c and to find a b c we can use sokatoa we're given the opposite and the hypotenuse so we're using sine and we say sine of a b c is equal to opposite being seven and hypotenuse is eight a b c is equal to arc sine 
of 7 over 8. And we could simplify arc sine of 7 over 8, but it would give us a decimal and it would be hard to work with. So let's just leave it as arc sine of 7 over 8. And we say that our angle theta is 2 times ABC. So that means that theta should be equal to 2 times arc sine of 7 over 8. And this is half times 8 squared, which is 64 over 2, which is 32 times theta, which is 2 arc sine of 7 over 8. And this simplifies to give 64 arc sine of 7 over 8. So this would be the area of sector BCD. And then we also need to find the area of triangle BCD. And to do that, we can use the formula that the area of the triangle is equal to half r squared sine theta. And in this case, we know that our radius is 8. And we know that theta is 2 arc sine of 7 over 8. So it becomes... 2 arc sine of 7 over 8. And this gives us 7 root 15. And so we now know that the area of our segment CYD, that's the shaded region, this shaded region is equal to 64 arc sine 7 over 8 minus 7 root 15. So if we come down here, the area of segment CYD is equal to 64 arc sine 7 over 8 minus 7 root 15. So now we have the area of the semicircle CXD, which is 49 over 2 pi, and we have the area of segment CYD, which is 64 arc sine 7 over 8 minus 7 root 15. If you punch that into your calculator, you get an area of 118. So our final answer would be that the total area is equal to 118. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. As always, I've left a link down below in the description for this PDF. And you can access more of my resources on my website, GCEA Level Maths 9709.com. There's also a link in the description.